Hi, this is Jenny from Jenny's Crime Collection. And if you're watching this, you might have already watched the sorting 152 crayons. This is where I go into more detail about sorting those 152 crayons. Are you guys excited? I am. So, but before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button below because I like to help you guys find the coolest art supplies. What I'm gonna go into, into this video is I'm gonna tell you guys which sleeves come in 24, 64 crayons which sleeves come in 96 crayons, which ones come in 120, and which ones only come in 152 crayons. And I'm gonna go into more detail in the actual video, but there are four new crayon boxes, and some of these colors are not in the 152 crayons. Some of them are, and some of them aren't. I sorted this in a really cool way. It's not your usual line method. All the light crayons, are in the middle and all the dark crayons are on the outside which I think is really awesome and it's really aesthetically pleasing for me to look at. I'll kind of tell a little bit about this box. It's blue, crayon sharpener's in the middle. This can actually come out so you can you can take this out. You don't have to use it in the crayon box. So. I hope you guys are excited. Let's get sorting these crayons. All right, so let's go first. Let's open the box. So this one comes in a nice box. Sometimes it just comes like this. So this is our biggest collection, just got bluer. All right, so we have these 152 crayons. They already come pre-assorted in sleeves. Okay, so your first sleeve is going to be, these are your uh, neon crayons. These ones are just gonna be an assortment. So some of these only come in the 152 pack. These ones are ones that only come in the 152 pack. These are metallic crayons. And the other one that only comes in this pack are the glitter crayons, okay? And then the rest of these crayons all come in the 120. So we've got the standard box right here with yellow and all the other colors. And then this one is just another box. I believe this one is the one that comes with 120. And then this one comes in 96, and this one also. Okay, I'm gonna go through these boxes while I have them out. All right, so here I have some crayons. These are 96, these are all various boxes. We're gonna compare which crayons come in the 152 with 96, 64, and 120. Okay. So these are just special crayons that they made for Christmas one year. We're gonna compare the boxes, okay? These are 64 crayons. So we'll put the 64 crayons up here. We'll find the special box. Because I know you guys want to know these. <laughs> okay, so we can eliminate. So these are the ones from the 64. So we know that this box only, this Metallic only comes in this box. Okay, so we're putting them to the side. We know glitter only comes in this box. So we're gonna put these to the side. All right, so neon we know does not come in the standard 64 box. And from 120, we pull those 120 out. Okay, so we have 120 right here. So let's look at a few of the crayons and see if we can find the same ones. So here we have almond. Let's find almond in here. Almond. We have pink sherbet. Let's find pink sherbet in here. Pink sherbet. So this is our 96 box. So we're gonna compare which ones come in 96 versus which ones come in the 64. So we know our standard box. So we've already, here, which one? Okay, so this one we know, these we know only come 
and this one's 120, this is 152 right here. All right, so next, we know that this is a standard box of Crayola crayons, okay? So we know that this one comes, this is any box. So we're gonna move this one to the pile over here. So we have three boxes that we're gonna match up right now. And then the rest are gonna be, so we know that this one right here comes in the, the 64, because we can see these colors are all the same. They're almost in the same order, but not quite, which is probably the machine. So we know the neon only comes in the 96. Okay, and then this one comes in the 64. This is the 64 pile, this is the 96, okay? All right, and so then we know, let's look some more. This one, I think is the same as this one, so let's look. We've got Robin's Egg Blue, Robin's Egg Blue. So this one comes in the 64. Right, 64 is right here. So we've got this one, we've got this one. So we just need to find this box. So is it this one or this one? So this one only comes in 96, we know that. So we need to figure out which of these two. And I'm thinking it's this one, yep. So C green, C green. So what I'm gonna do, cause we're showing all the Crayola colors and what comes in each box. And on my website, I actually have that listed also. But I'm gonna show you right now which comes in. So this, what comes in the 24 would be these, would be 16 plus some of these ones. And we'll figure those out. Okay, so let's put these back into the 64 box so we don't get those confused and accidentally try to use them somewhere. So we have the first, this would be a standard Crayola box. So we're gonna dump it out. So here we have carnation pink, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, blue, pur violet, purple, white, and brown. So those are all the ones that are standard in the uh, 16. So if we're gonna go for 24, all right, we have it here. So we just need to find the box that has these colors in it. So these are our additions. So what I'm gonna do as we're going through is I'm gonna actually sort these by adding more. So we are looking for the box that has these colors in it. Okay, I found them. So I'm just gonna start adding them to our pile. This one, actually I will put them out here so you guys can see them. And then I will add them to our pile. So we've got like a red one, violet red, scarlet, scarlet, green to it, a gray. Okay, so I know that, I know people have asked which packs come in which, so I just wanna give you guys a visual of this, an actual visual instead of like a picture, which I also have pictures of, so. And then we're gonna throw these crayons out. Okay, so we, these are in order. The next, so this would be 24 crayons. Violet, red, scarlet, apricot, green, yellow, gray, indigo, beautiful, and sterling. Okay, so we're gonna put these in the order they come in. So I just go by what it looks like. And we're gonna have to make two separate piles. Beautiful, it's kind of dark. Gray, we'll put between black and white, and then green, yellow. Okay, so there we go. That's your standard box of 24 crayons. And then the next eight, this would be in the next pack. So if you're looking at the two packs, like a 48 box, this is what you're gonna get in a 48 box. 
So let's put these in order and then I'll say all their names. These are all the browns, purples. Okay, so we've got Melon. We have Sky Blue, Cadet Blue, Wisteria, Timberwolf, Chestnut, Tan, and Peach. Okay, so now we're gonna put these in. I'm storing them opposite, so makes me a little confused. Put the tan at the end. We're getting all of them. Okay, and then the grays. I'm gonna separate these out in just a minute. So this one is, and so we're gonna actually be sorting in a circle. So I'm gonna show you guys a cool way to sort your 152 crayons. I'm just gonna put this here for now. And I'll show you later what we'll do with it. This is kind of like a gray, cadet blue. It has like a gray in it. And this is a purple, a light purple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate our blues and our greens and our reds out. And I just messed up a couple. So, okay. So the next, these two packs are the ones that come. So I'm just gonna separate them out separately say their names, and then put them with the other crayons. So you guys will see. Let's sort them in the order this time, so that way I'm less confused. Okay. I like to put my pinks up with my reds and the purples. Because the reason I like to do that is I like to color that way. Like I use pinks and purples. You could put them at the end. Okay, so then I have all my browns. So the next packet has Marvelous, Lavender, Salmon, Mahogany, Macaroni Cheese, Golden Rod, Spring Green, Sea Green, Granny Smith Apple, Olive Green, Corn Flower, Purple Mountains Majesty, Sepia, Raw Sienna, Burnt Sienna and Tumbleweed. So now I'm gonna put these in with our crayons. This one's really purpley. So I got a red and a purpley together. This one's kind of orangey. All right. Brown is over here. Orange. It's got like a yellow tint to it. So green. Have you guys watched my other sorting videos? I have sorted 96, 64, and 120. And because I've sorted all those, you guys asked me to sort these ones. So I'm more than happy to oblige. There's just a lot of them. Okay, so this one's bluer. So we'll put it right here. We've got this added a ton of browns. Some kind of reddish, so we'll put it up here. It's really hard to sort. <laughs> Super hard to sort browns. Anyway, so we have another 16 crayons right here. And let's sort these. All right. Purple. Red, okay. Blues, greens, and a blue. Okay, so in this one, so this would be everything that comes in a 64 pack, okay? So that orchid, magenta, brick red, wild strawberry, tickle me pink, gold, forest green, asparagus, Robin's Egg Blue, Turquoise Blue, Periwinkle, Pacific Blue, Plum, Silver, Burnt Orange, and Bittersweet. So we have these two. I'll just put in, and with those, we've got our gray, another, well, it's silver, but it's grayish in color. I will separate these soon. This one's got like a little bit of red in it. A blue. Lighter blue. Okay, and then we have a turquoise blue right there. 
Got a green, dark green, dark green. This one's, can I put it in there? Okay, pink. Now we have a red. So brick red. And we got, and we have our purple. Okay, so I'm gonna separate out, let's see. I'll move some of the blues over. It's like musical chairs with grands. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So the next one we're going to dump out. We want to push these over this way. Okay. So these are all the ones that come in a 96 pack. So let's get those out. Greens here. Yellow up here. So you guys should be really excited because I'm going to show you how to sort them like in a circle fuzzy wuzzy down here. This is a blue, this is a blue, and I'll show you guys at the end when I'm putting them away, how to put them away so that way it'll just look really cool. You guys will love it. Okay, we have a blue, so you just kind of go by, it's a lot by sight, just kind of what it looks like. And then pink sherbet. Okay. And that one's more orangey, so we'll put it there. That one's redder. Okay. Blush, pink flamingo, cotton candy, pink sherbet, piggy pink, sunset orange, banana mania, canary, almond fern, mountain meadow, Caribbean green, aquamarine, manatee, blue bell, outer space, purple heart, eggplant. Vivid Violet, Fuzzy Wuzzy, Beaver, Shadow, Antique Brass, and Desert Sand. Okay, so now we're gonna put these in with the other colors. And like I said, just kind of put them in where, and it's gonna get harder because um, as you know, color wheels are a wheel. They're not a straight line, they're not linear. But that's the cool thing we're gonna do with this. We're gonna make it a color wheel. So you guys are, should be super excited for that. When we get to that part. This one almost has no color. It's like very white. What I love though about Crayola crayons, I don't know if you guys saw the video I did on, uh, I did a video on these crayons that, uh, let's see, sorry. I did a video on these crayons that uh, the Andy Warhol crayons, and four of them would not color. I was so disappointed. I was like, are you serious? Why even put in a crayon if you're not gonna have it color? And it didn't color on black paper, on white paper. So very disappointed. It's like, why would you spend money on crayons that don't color on paper? Okay. That one's super green. Manatee. Blue. Okay. And then outer space is very dark. Okay, then we have our purples. Mm, very dark. This one's more violety. If you want to be super exact, you can do swatches too while you're doing this. So that way you could tell exactly where it is on the spectrum. I like to do it by sight too. You can do it so many ways. Okay, so there we go. So we look like we're a little yellow, blue, and green heavy. But this only has red and orange. And has purple, blacks grays and browns so we'll see what we have so the next ones are the ones that come in 120 where we get our neons and we get uh, I don't know what they call these just random colors 
So our neons, I don't think they make, I think this is the only place that you can get some of these neon colors because the neon box actually doesn't really have, very disappointed with the neon box. It doesn't have like, you would think some of the colors in there just aren't neon like. But these ones are definitely good. Actually, some of these, I, hmm, I don't know, let's see, purple. I love coloring with neons, they're so pretty. Because neon comes in like an eight pack. Now it comes in a new 24 pack, but that 24 pack has some pearl ones they don't it's like the same color three times in there okay so we our purples are up here so our neon colors are for those of you that want neon crayons purple pizzazz hot magenta razzle dazzle rose shocking pink radical red wild watermelon outrageous orange neon carrot atomic tangerine sun glow and mellow yellow, laser lemon, electric lime, inch worm, screaming green, and wild blue yonder. Okay, so wild blue yonder. Got so many greens. <laughs> Are they starting to fall out of the uh, the frame? I wonder. Okay, here's a yellowy one. We might have to take our yellow. We'll take our yellows up here. And then I'll probably, I'll just put some of the yellows up there. Okay. So these are definitely brighter. So it just makes it a little more, cause like I said, so, cause it's circular and not linear, there's three factors that go into the color. There's RBG, red, green, and blue. Computer. Okay. Wow, now my reds are taking over. I might have to just do a new line entirely. Okay. So what box of crayons is your guys' favorite? What size? Do you like these? Uh, here, we'll just do all the reds and pinks right here. Yellows right here. Okay, that's so uneven. We'll make sure it's even by the end. I'm gonna round out of space. So these are also 120. So we'll just put these up against the yellows for now. And I'll say their names and we just won't include that one because we know. So that one's a little more purpley, darker. Okay, so we have fuchsia, maroon, jazzberry jam, cerise, razzmatazz, mango tango, vivid tangerine. Oh, this blue is so out of place. Okay. We have shamrock, jungle green, pine green, tropical rainforest, midnight blue, denim, navy blue, royal purple, and copper. So let's put these away.
Okay, there we go. Oh, reading Runaway Crayons. Vivid Tangerine. Why was a Vivid Tangerine in the neon box? I wonder. Okay. I'm like, oh, these look so great together, but wait. You have to put them with the rest of the crayons. Lose. Hold on. Hmm. And then a copper. Just trying to see where it goes best. Okay, so we are very lopsided over here. <laughs> so, you know, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. These are everything that would come in. I'm just going to make it more equal. Okay, we don't have to have it perfect. Okay. So this is everything that comes in 120 crayons right here. So now we have our 152 crayons that are gonna come in here. So, so what is the difference between metallic and glitter? Okay, so if you look at these, these have like silver specks in them and these will have like white specks and blue specks and all different color of specks. So these ones mostly have like those silvery, but not real silver but they have like that metallic-y. And this will just have like specks of, like this one has specks of blue and green, I mean pink and green. This one has like blue, this one might have silver, but it's not limited to only silver while well, this one's like only silver. And who knows if the composition, like if this might have more silvery type specks. So we are gonna go with the metallic first. So we're pushing all these over so I can have my room over here. Okay, so here's all our metallic crayons. So this is what would come in the 16 count. So, all right, so here's our metallic. So what I wanna to talk to you about real fast. We looked at the difference between the two. So Crayola did put out a 24 metallic, so there are eight more colors. And I will put those up for you on the screen, what colors those are. They look the same. Actually, no, they have different wrappers now. So the wrapper is different. So let's see, this one is called Gold Fusion. This one is also called Gold Fusion. So they just changed it. So uh, it has more like, like they had green wrappers before. Kind of green, some of them were green. And now they just have all the, like this, goldish one so right so they're easy to tell apart so if you do want to get all the metallic you can get all the metallic in this 24 box and you can get those and I'll leave the link for that below also so if you're buying 152 to get all the crayons you're not gonna get them all there's also more glitter crayons in here there's more neon that include pearl they don't have all the neon in this one. And Pearl are brand new. So these are 24 new colors that do not come in the 152. So I wonder, since they have eight more of these, they have, I don't know, like all the math. Let's just look at all the math. <coughs> so we got, I'm trying to think in my head. So we have, 24 new ones, so that would be 174, 
176. 176. Then you have eight more. So 176 plus eight is 184. Then I know you at least have 16 new ones in here. So 16, 184 would be 190. So then you would have 200. Plus there's eight more, there's 16 more that are not in here. So you have 216. Plus you have eight more. So that would be 216, so you would be at 224, plus you have those 24 that are coming out, the multicultural, which I don't have in front of me yet, otherwise I would show you. So we're at 224, so we could be at 248. We could have a box of 248 crowns. Okay, Crayola, you need to do that for us. You need to put all your crayons together. <laughs> all right. So let's go through this. So I wonder too is, um, I know their line, like they can, I've watched some videos on it. I know they can uh, blast off bronze. I know they can change the color that's in them, but I know there's like only a certain amount they can produce like at the same time. So like, let's say they have eight vats and you can make like the standard colors. And then, so they make, a box of like 24 or 16 that 16 pack they make that or the 24 crayons that let's say they have 24 vats that'd make it easy so then they change it out they're like oh we need more so we can have a 48 pack so we have a 64 pack we need to make and then they change it out they're like okay now we need to have our 152 and they just keep those and they just kind of cycle it out like that so they don't actually have 152 vats of crayons to make these things so I wonder, I mean, they probably could make a whole box of them just because they already do. That's it. We need a whole box. 248, did I say? Crayons. That's all you can get right now. So we need all of those right now. So these are interesting. So as we're going to put these away, We'll see kind of how they match the colors that are. So we're gonna look very carefully to see if we see any color. This is exact shade, which I don't see. So we're just gonna, this one's shimmering blush. So it's like a pinkish reddish thing. Okay, we'll just put it here. This one actually looks really close to brick red. Maybe. Okay. Sunset shimmer. And sometimes when you put in the specs, so a lot of these colors are based on other colors, but they change because they have the specs in them. So this one's alloy orange. Doesn't really look like any oranges. Okay. This one is gold fusion. So we had our gold over here. So the golds actually look very similar. Looks like it's the same gold. This one looks very similar to, but not quite goldenrod. Looks very similar to green. Granny Smith apple, I mean. I wonder. Yeah, I'm very similar to Granny Smith Apple. Um, emerald. This one's Caribbean green. All right, metallic seaweed. Oh gosh, oh that looks very close to aquamarine. So seaweed and marine are close. Steel blue. Hmm. Kind of close to turquoise blue, bedazzled blue, kind of purpley in nature. Let's see down here what this one is. Navy blue. Oh, let's get our cadet blue over here. It's not quite though. This one is deep, deep space sparkle. I 
know there's an outer space, so I wonder if that's what it's related to. And then we have our purple cyber grape. Kind of looks like vivid violet. Okay. Or the one above it. What's that one? Royal purple. Okay, Rasmic Berry. Similar. Mm, not really. Okay. And then this one is Blast Off Bronze. And do we actually have a bronze in here? Copper. Brass. I don't think we have a bronze. And Sonic Silver. And an interesting note, too, is when... So if you look at the two, this is silver and this is sonic silver. Okay, here we go. All right. So we have right here, we have sonic silver and we also have silver. So if you look at the tips, you see this has specks. This more, more has like a swirl in it. So actually back in the day, silver and like copper and metallic, they were called metallic crayons. They were actually included, but they probably had more metallics that they added, so they didn't have to have those, and they wanted to add those to like the standard boxes and stuff. This one actually looks more like a gray. So, uh, so they added, like they pulled those, and I'll leave the link for that below. So those are all the metallic crayons. So here we have some uh, glitter crayons. Glitter crayons are not named, so it's a little interesting. They have specs, like I said, of different colors in them. So we actually have some glitter crayons right here. I'm gonna pull out. Am I focused? Oh gosh, sorry about that, guys. Oh no, these are these are all names. So haha, <laughs> glad that didn't. The wrappers are very similar. Similar. They just these have names. These ones don't, which is nice. Okay. So we're gonna actually go through so we can tell you guys the names of these crayons. And I've never done this before and people have asked. So here you go, two videos with one stone, right? Okay, so this one's this color. And there's like eight more in here so it's not like process of elimination either. This one looks like this one. It could also be this one. Okay, so we'll look at those closely. But we also have this one. So I think those two, these two. Okay. We have a red right here. We have a pink. I don't see a pink in this one. Hmm, that's interesting. So what are we missing now? We need our whites, our white up here. So you guys will actually know the names of the glitter crayons. Should be kind of cool. So I don't think we have this one. This one's called Shredded Cheddar. And on some of the glitter crayons, like in the uh, Star Wars box, they actually have names on them. Oh, so this one is not named and we do not have one that's similar. So basically it's probably just different specs of color when that happens. Hey, we're running out of colors. Let's see where we at. This one is not named, so I need to find an equivalent if I can. Okay, so let's pull out the ones we have colors for. Kind of have this one. We have these two, these two, and these two. Can you guys still see all those kind of? Okay. So this one's definitely this one. So I wonder. Actually, we'll just keep that in there so we can compare. But I think it's the other one. This one looks like a black. Here, I'll move this down a little bit. So you guys can see. All right, so this one is not named, so we need to find an equivalent. Okay, so our equivalents, we're pushing up, up, up. So unless I am missing a glitter one. I 
I do not see any grays, so I'm taking my grays out. This one's, no. Hmm. Look at it closely. Nope, they are not the same color. They look the same color. Okay, we have a blue that is the same color. I do not have a pink. That's very interesting. So is that the only one I'm missing? So these are so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. They took out a pink. So that way you would add one more. So you'd have a box of 225. I wonder why they took this pink out because it's just missing. So the new ones, not in the 152, are Tropical Shower, Golden Dust, Gray Glam, Lavender Burst, Silver Sparks, okay, Chocolate Sprinkles, Night Sky, Confetti Sunset, and Crimson Dash. And which is fun, they made like names for all these colors. And I wonder how they named them, they don't tell us, but I've read in some other stuff that how they come up with names a lot of the times is they will bring a group of kids in, the kids will help name them. So I wonder if they did that, like, It'd be interesting to see how they named these. So now we actually have names for these. Um, Star Wars actually has these crayons also. They have different names. So um, if you're seeing the Star Wars crayons, you'll have to find the equivalent for those. So this one's called Black Gold. So that kind of tells us that there's probably gold specks in here. So let's see, do we have a piece of paper? I've got a piece of paper right here. I'm gonna double check really fast. So that's what it is. So let's try this. You can't really tell. <laughs> it's very probably microscopic, but they both look black. I don't know. Maybe this one is just black. This one actually has gold specks in it. This one's gold black. Yeah, that one has gold specks. I don't know if black actually has anything in it. It might not. Okay. So now this is a black crayon, so then minus one, but then you, cause this would just be a, like a normal black. Okay. All right. So next we have sun shower. Okay. So let's look at this. Sun shower, sun shower. Yep, those look similar. It looks like maybe, I don't know what kind of specs they have in them. Like red and silver maybe. Yeah, if you look close, you can, you can get an indication. And sometimes they'll probably blend with them. So a gold shower. And those specs actually make it kind of a different color. So this is our named one, so we're putting it over there. You could buy the named ones and just replace them. Let's go to these easier ones. This one's definitely the same color. So those other ones we're going to have to test out. So this one's called a Flamingo Flame. Actually, those look very different. So, is this one in here? Let's try all three of these. So one of those that I said earlier, the Flamingo Flame might be new. So let's try all three of those. So these two on the outside are definitely the same. That's a good way to tell. So we have Crimson Dash is what it's called. So Crimson Dash would go about here. All right. This one is called Maroon Mist. Okay, those look very maroon. All right, this one, it looks like a sky blue almost, so I think that's their base color for it. Yep, similar, fire and sky. So it's like sky blue. So you like how they kind of like alluded to the color name, but like they didn't see it. Oh, and this one, there was an extra white somewhere. Oh, so then you take away one. So there's two ones that weren't available. So you add two. I don't know what number we're at. Probably like 260, 255. It's hard to tell. Which one is it? Hmm, I would say 
Probably these two are the same. Unless, no, those are the ones that are. Okay, so let's do all three of these at the same time. They're white, so they're kind of hard to tell. They're all speckly white. I don't know, let's just say Diamond Dazzle. And one of these is not Diamond Dazzle, and the other one is. They, the tips look very similar, too. Let's see, it doesn't focus. Can you see those tips? Yeah, they look very similar, so. I don't know. <laughs> Diamond Dazzle, and then we have another one. So if you look actually at the Star Wars box, there'll be like one, like it'll say two different white confettis, so. I'm sure with the Star Wars box, which I don't exactly know where that one is. So those look similar. So we have Gritty Green. All right, the next one we have is, oh, we didn't get, oh, this is Shredded Cheddar. That was a new one. Okay, this one is Campfire Flicker. Very similar. Campfire does not belong. Okay, very interesting. Okay, next one we have is Piled Wasabi. Yep, those look similar. Okay, so this Screamin' Green, I wonder if that's the same as Screamin' Green. Let's see what Screamin' Green looks like. Nope, it's not Screamin' Green. It could be, what is this one? Yellow Green. Yeah, it's a yellow green base color, I thought one was. Okay. So, Poppin' Purple. Yep. Those are the same. So we go over here, pop and purple. Then we have these two. Similar. Yeah. Is there another one? Tropical, let's see. That is definitely not the same. So these two are the same. So we have right here, Aqua Fizz. And I'll put these actually probably on my website. Um, so that way you guys can see uh, what the names of those crayons are. Okay, and then this one, let's make sure. Yeah, those are similar. Okay, blue blazes. Blue blazes goes over here. Kind of looks like a cerulean. Okay, so then we're left with these two and those two. Yep. Okay, this one is called Orchid Explosion. And that's orchid. I wonder if they're similar. And then the, these are pretty colors, aren't they? Okay. Yep, those are similar. Okay, this one's called Red Slaw. All right, so here we have, this is very similar to that one. Okay, so here we have all of the grands. I'm gonna take a picture and then I will put them away for you. All right, so now I have them all sorted. I've taken pictures of them. I'm just gonna save them really fast. So we have orchid, okay, uh, like an orchid glitter crayon. Orchid, fuchsia, marvelous, blush, purple pizzazz, hot magenta, lavender, pink flamingo, tickle me pink, cotton candy, carnation pink, razzle dazzle rose, red violet, oh, two glitter crayons, maroon, surprise, magenta, jazzberry jam, shimmering blush, brick red, big dick bow ruby, violet red, uh, like a red glitter crayon, razzmatazz red, bittersweet shimmer, Wild Strawberry, Pink Sherbet, Scarlet, Red Orange, Sunset Orange, Salmon, Piggy Pink, Melon, Shocking Pink, Radical Red, Vivid Tangerine, Mango Tango, 
orange, yellow orange, macaroni and cheese, like an orange glitter crayon, alley orange, peach, apricot, gold fusion, gold, metallic sunburst, golden rod, banana mania, vivid tangerine, outrageous orange, neon carrot, atomic tangerine, sun glow, unmellow yellow, laser lemon yellow, a yellow glitter crayon, canary, almond, spring green, green yellow, electric lime, inchworm, olive green, green, yellow green, screaming green, Oh, a green glitter crayon, uh, sheen green, Granny Smith, <laughs> fern, mountain meadow, shamrock green, jungle green, green glitter crayon, pine green, sea green, forest green, asparagus, illuminating emerald, Caribbean green, tropical rainforest, robin's egg blue, metallic seaweed, aquamarine, sky blue, uh, sky blue glitter crayon, turquoise, street blue, Pacific blue, blue glitter, glitter crayon, Blue green corn flower, cerulean blue glitter crayon, blue bell blue indigo, midnight blue denim, outer space beautiful, deep space sparkle, uh, bedazzled blue navy blue periwinkle wild blue yonder, manatee cadet blue, purple mountains majesty eggplant, purple heart blue violet, royal purple cyber grape, vivid violet. Violet purple, plum, rasmic berry, wisteria, black, black glitter crayon, gray, sonic silver, temple wolf, silver, white, white, white glitter crayon, another white glitter crayon, shadow, beaver, chestnut, fuzzy, wuzzy, bittersweet, mahogany, burnt orange, spurred sienna, tan, copper, antique brass, uh, blast off bronze, raw sienna, tumbleweed, desert sand, sepia, and brown. And there you have it. You have 152 crayons sorted in color order. Here we have the box. Just putting them in. Okay. I have to find all the sleeves. I just like threw them out as I was putting things away. Okay. All right, so here's our boxes. So what we're gonna do, I'll just set this lightly on top since there's not a lot of space. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna think about this in a circle, okay? So we are gonna, here's our circle. We're gonna put the lightest crayons in the middle. So we're gonna go through each of these and take the lightest crayons. So I feel like shimmering blush is very light. So then you're gonna have to kind of put them in order. Okay, this one's very light. Okay, so I'm gonna actually hold this up to do this. Okay, this one's super light. So we're just putting in the lightest of crayons because that's what you do for the middle. Okay, so then we go to our next ones. The yellows are pretty light crayons, so I just end up putting a bunch of the yellows in the middle. So only the lightest crayons, like I said. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here. Just get the lightest ones possible. Hmm. So it's such a pretty box so far. Okay, and then this one's pretty light for purple. Light purple. Then we have a bunch of grays that are light. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue this. So we'll have this. And now I need to move this over. So I got that moved over and we'll put our other our other gray right here actually I'm gonna take this one out just put our white right here so this box will have the lightest colors in it so after this I'm gonna go through 
and kind of do this again until we get to our darkest colors. Actually, let's see, there you go. So we have the lightest colors there. So we still have two whites, which is fine. I'm gonna actually take the box out because it's a lot easier to put the crayons in the box. Okay, so we're gonna continue this trend. You know, we can actually probably put the grays there. Actually, they're kind of dark. Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> so these are the lightest crayons that we have in our crayon box. Okay, so then we'll put in the grays actually. So we can kind of get this. Uh, we have another gray right here. Okay, so now we have like a whole bunch of grays. So that's gonna sit here, okay? So I'm actually not gonna put it in because it won't look as good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these boxes out. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is what I should do. Actually, I'm changing my mind a little bit. So we're taking these out. I'm gonna put these. I'll show you what I'm doing with this in just a minute. They're all kind of getting out of order, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna get this blue. I'm gonna put this one here. Hope this makes sense to you guys. It's kind of okay. I'm going to take out this brown. Okay, put it in with these whites. So this will be my brown and gray side. I don't have as many as them. So I have a ton of blues and purples. So I think I'm gonna make the blues and purples this side right here. Hopefully this will make sense to you guys as I go. So then, all right, so then this side over here, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so th these actually need to go in this box, but we'll do that really fast, okay. my like orange yellowy it's too orange mm. okay got my orangey stuff here so we're putting orange stuff here now we have to switch these two out because this has to be the bigger box okay hope this is making sense So what we're doing is we're putting these in a circle. I'm actually gonna have to, <laughs> again, change these ones around. You'll see why in just a second. Okay, so these are my lightest. So if we're going in a circle, the orange has to be by the other orange since it's a circle. Okay. Am I missing one? Probably. Okay. We'll throw this one in. Actually, it was more like right here. Okay. So, now... Now we have, this is our brown side, so we're just gonna start putting our browns in. So we're gonna actually save, we're gonna go with the very darkest browns.
hopefully this isn't too confusing for you guys. <laughs> and like the most saturated, if that makes sense. Darkest and most saturated. And it will probably have to change too. Oh, because we need the blacks on this side too. So let's actually take some of these out. So we got a black here. We have purples over there. Oh, we have our other black. Okay, so these are our darkest, darkest, darkest greens. Are down here. Which one was the darkest out of this one? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so then that one goes here. So we'll have to fill in the gaps a little bit. You'll see how that goes. So, this one actually did not go here, it goes here. Okay. You know what, I think some of those grays, some of these two grays, I'm gonna pull into this box over here. So this is kind of how you sort crayons, you just kind of as you go, right? Okay, pulling in these grays a little bit. Okay. All right, this will look really cool when it's done. All right, so next, this is greens and yellows, and then this is pinks and oranges. So this one will probably be easier. Maybe this will this would need to be the three. It's hard to tell which one. Okay, so this one is definitely lighter. So is this one. Okay, so, I don't know. Okay, so this box is almost full, and it was that side. Yeah, I think we might have to change some of these around. That's okay. Okay, so these ones are a little bit more darker, yeah. I think this one is the one that's gonna need three. So this is gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna take these out, put them here, put them that way so we know. Take these out, hold them like, okay, so we hold them they're gonna mess up a little bit but not that much okay then when we get them in here we'll just arrange them again okay okay then we will put these oranges that we saw confusing you guys yet Okay, then we need another empty box. Okay. 
Actually, this is an empty box. <laughs> okay, so now looking for light, kind of light colors like this. Okay, so now this one is done. I put it here. So now I have my lightest ones here, and I'm go getting my darker ones towards the outer bridge. Okay, so these are a totally different color palette up there. Keep going. You're looking for the lightest, lightest colors to put them in order. Okay. So this one is done. Here. We're balancing on top of all the other ones. Let's see if we will be able to get this. In. Might have to pull some other ones out. So these look lighter to me. Now, these are definitely the darker ones. No, I'm gonna do the opposite. This one's more reddish. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're just like too short. Okay. Now we have space to put our... So right here, we arranged our reds and our oranges from lightest to darkest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out these two purples. Okay. Watch how easy this is. We'll put these in with the oranges. These are definitely, this one's a little bit more yellow. Okay. Then we can put our two dark, dark ones in. These a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. make it easier this one's a little bit lighter too okay where do these go in the color spectrum okay do not want that one back there okay so which one's lighter that one looks a little bit lighter okay okay so here you have the lighter star at the top the darkest at the bottom so that's pretty cool Okay, so next, we'll do our yellows. All right, yellows are en ended up gonna be over here. And so most of our yellows are up top anyway, because they're lighter color in and of itself. So I'm just going through pulling the lightest greens. So we'll have 24 more, so let's see. Or six, yeah, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have spots for 20 more, right? Okay, just making sure before I, so I don't have to redo all these again. Okay, so then these are the greens. And then we'll just put Go through, put the greens in here. There you go. Okay, so now we have this portion done. Okay, and we were super close to 
this one. So these are super dark. These are not. Okay, perfect. I'm just trying to see where we were at. So we're going to pull in the lighter browns. Not as saturated browns. There you go. Okay. We are going to put these actually over here. And then like the purples and the blues will go right here. Is this a purple and a blue? Oh yeah, here were all my purple and blues. Okay. Crayons start telling you where they want to go. Okay. Okay. So next, we have a ton of blues and a ton of purples. They're very dark and saturated, so just try to find the lightest ones that you can. You know, I'm gonna use this one as gray because I need I need a few more grays, so I'll use this one as a gray too. These purples are super saturated. Okay. There we go, we have this box. So now it's just a matter of putting them back in. Oh, we're going to start with the greens. Yeah, the greens. These are all pretty saturated. So we are just going to go for it. And then we'll put all our purples in. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. So we have three purples left. We'll see what we do. We're gonna have to figure this out somehow. Okay, so these are the darkest. Okay, and these are more bluey. Okay, then we have a brown. So we have three purples. So you're gonna end up like this because they're not like all similar. So I'm just gonna put these in here like that. It should be fine. So there you go. So now this is really cool because it's um, sorted like more in a circle. If you can see that, like you've got your lighter colors up here, you've got uh, your darker colors on the bottom, all within like the same uh, color palette, I mean color families. So this orange probably could have gone over here. So there's just a few things like that, that just because they're not like equal number of red, blues, greens, violets, but there you go. That's how you store 152 crayons. So make sure that you uh, subscribe below. Let me know which is your favorite color out of this box. Uh, do you have 152 crayons? How many crayons do you have? And are you gonna sort yours today? That's the big question. So I'll leave a link below for 152 crayons. I'll leave a link below for all of the Crayola crayons and I'll leave a link bef before for the uh, glitter crayons that I showed you guys and the metallic crayons. So I hope you guys have a great day. Follow along because I show you guys the coolest um, coloring supplies out there and I just want to make sure that you guys have all you need. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video of sorting all these crayons in the more detail and saw what crayons came in which box. It was really fun to show you guys. So make sure that you guys let me know what size crayons. And so if you, to repeat, if you wanna get all of these crayons, you have to buy this, and then you have to buy all these boxes up here. So if you wanna get all the crayons, and then the 24 multicultural when they come out. So if you have guys have a great day, let me know which crayon boxes of these that you have, and um, I will talk to you later.